Hi guys, welcome back to my science lab. Today we're gonna to be doing an experiment called walking water, which is gonna be a pretty fun experiment, um, especially because we're gonna hopefully see some fun colors, okay? So I'm gonna talk about what supplies are needed for this. Um, they should be included on the document that I've um, uploaded for you guys, but just to go over it briefly in our video, okay? So what we have here is we have our instruction sheet, which I have included for you you um, that also lists our supplies and then I also have um, a sheet like this where we're gonna kind of color together what we think is gonna happen um, so we're gonna kind of predict remember we're gonna kind of guess and think about what we think is gonna happen in this experiment and then afterwards we are going to actually um, color in what we observed and so these are actually the, what the results we have okay so to briefly go over um, the supplies that are needed, what are needed today is you need to have seven clear cups. So for example, I'm just using these plastic cups. Um, you guys can feel free to use kitchen cups if you want. Um, we're just using food coloring, and so if you rinse out your cups um, shortly after the experiment, there should be no staining or anything like that. But um, if you have disposable cups, I would suggest using those. So we're gonna be using seven of those. Um, I have already filled them up. So like our instruction says, you are going to fill cup number one, three, five, and seven, and you're gonna fill those up about a quarter full. So or you can see about right here as I filled this up, um, this much amount of water, okay? And so we're gonna do that. We also need our food coloring. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, usually these are in your like spice cabinets. Um, hopefully you have all the colors that you need today. What colors specifically we're gonna be using is red, yellow, and blue today. Um, and then we will need some paper towels, which I have kind of pre-cut out um, to show you what size we're looking for. It kind of looks like just over seven inches by seven inches. So you guys can kind of determine what size you want. It also depends on what kind of paper towels you have at home. Um, usually the ones that you have at home are really absorbent. And I heard in this experiment, that is actually the best kind to use. Um, these ones are the paper towels that we have at the ABC. And so they're pretty, um, you know, budget friendly. And so they're not super absorbent. Um, and so hopefully we're gonna see um, if this works with us today, but there's little ripples on top. So I'm hoping that helps with the absorbency. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, six squares of paper towels cut out, okay? And then we will talk about um, how we fold those shortly once we get started with um, our experiment. The other things that we'll need, obviously you'll need a pair of scissors so that you can cut your paper towel, paper towels nicely. Um, I also included in here some colored pencils just because I like to color in what I think my, um, what I think is gonna happen on my worksheet and then what I'm actually gonna color in the actual results. And so I would like to use real colors for those. So I picked out colors of the rainbow, hoping those are the colors that I'm going to be using. So just kind of go over those again. We have our recording sheet that we're gonna be working on today, which is our worksheet here. We have seven plastic cups. They are full of water. Um, cup number one, three, five, and seven are about three quarters full of water. We have paper towels. We have about six pieces of paper towels that are roughly seven inches by seven inches, but you can make do with whatever sizes you guys want food coloring with the primary colors so specifically we're going to be using the red the yellow and the blue today okay all right so let's get started guys are you ready for this so to get started um to kind of look and see i think the best way to get started is we should try to think of what it's going to happen in this experiment okay so in the end of this what um is our goal i guess is we're going to be putting different droplets of food coloring in our cups but then the cups next to um, our full cups so for example you see this one is full this one is completely empty okay i am going to try to take an educated guess 
and think about, hmm, do I think any water is gonna end up in this cup? So normally I wouldn't think so, but we are actually gonna be folding up our paper towels. So originally this is the start of the paper towel and the end we're gonna have something like this. You're gonna drape it over um, the cups here so it kind of creates a bridge. And then I'm thinking maybe some water might transfer over into those empty cups. That's what I'm kind of thinking, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Um, my colors that I'm starting with are red, yellow, and blue. So since I only have three cups here, I think what I'm going to say is that they will actually only stay red, yellow, and blue. That's my educated guess, is that they will stay the same colors. There won't be any mixing of colors, okay? So I'm going to use my colored pencils. I have red, yellow, and blue right here. And I'm just going to quickly color in my cups that I have here. So for the first one, I'm going to color in that I think it's just going to be red liquid. And just do it the best that you can in coloring in these um, little boxes here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this is what the red looks like. It kind of looks like orange on camera. The next one I'm going to say is yellow. I think the yellow cup is going to stay yellow. I don't think there's going to be any mixing of colors. But we will see. I have been wrong before. So this is what yellow looks like. And then the final cup is blue, and so I'm gonna color that one blue. This is kind of a light blue, so it might be harder to see. Definitely be careful when you're coloring. You don't wanna shake the table too much. So you can see my water's kind of dancing here in front of me. Make sure that you're not moving the table too much when you are coloring. Okay. And I'm just going to write, stay the same. So I think that they're going to stay the same. They're not going to mix in any way. And that's my prediction. What do you guys think? Now is your time to kind of sit there and take an educated guess and think, do you think any colors are going to be mixing? Or do you think that they're all going to stay in the rightful cups and there's not going to be any sort of mixing? Hmm. Take a minute to think about that and we'll get um, going on our next piece of our experiment, okay? So I'm just going to put this aside while you guys color in your um, walking water um, prediction sheet, okay? So now that we have colored in our prediction sheets, now we can kind of get started with our experiment, guys, which is gonna be really exciting. Um, what I have here is um, just the plain paper towel that I was saying that we are using before. And so this is seven by seven. And what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna fold it hot dog way, so not hamburger. So it's lengthwise, okay? So it should be long this way, right? So we just folded it one time, and now the instructions are telling us that we wanna fold it one more time. So you wanna meet those corners, corner to corner, here, and so you should have sheets like this. So in the end, you should have six sheets that are folded just like this. So take your time in folding these sheets and then we'll move on to the next step, okay? And while you guys are working, I'm just gonna be reading the instructions to myself here, okay? So once you have done your folding of your paper towels, we're just gonna set those aside for now, okay? We wanna make sure that none of the water from the cups or from any, you know, the table or anything like that doesn't get these paper towels wet. So we wanna keep them away from anything um, that may have spilled over when you were filling cups, okay? Make sure to clean that up. 
Um, we also don't want to get any droplets of our dye on it, okay? So we're going to move on to the next set, um, next step of our experiment, and it tells us that we need to add five drops of red food coloring in the first cup and in the seventh cup, okay? So I have my red food coloring here. Be careful because we don't want to stain our clothes. You may want to ask for some help with this because you only want to use five drops. Um, if you end up using more, just try to count and see how many more you use so that you can be consistent throughout the other cups, okay? So say you accidentally use six or seven drops. Make sure that you use six or seven in the other cups as well, okay? So I'm going to try this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, okay? And I'll move the camera so you guys can see, but it's pretty cool looking right now. So that was the first one. Now I'm gonna move this back. So you can maybe see this cup. I'm supposed to do the same thing in cup seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five all right make sure you close that up put that aside as you can see here it's mixing with our water nicely Doo -doo. all right now the next one it says the next color we're going to be using is yellow can you see that okay it tells us to use five drops of yellow just in the third cup okay so remember if you accidentally use um, six or seven drops in the first few cups, make sure that you use the same amount um, when you're doing the yellow and the blue drops, okay? I was able to contain mine just because these are newer bottles. I know sometimes the older bottles, they kind of get spray all over, okay? So I'm gonna do five drops of yellow in my third cup. So one, two, three. And it should be obvious too because um, it's the next cup that has water in it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's lift this up for you guys to see. Doo -doo -doo. Can you see that? If I put a blank piece of paper, you can see a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna put that back in line. So we have our red drops in cups number one and seven. We have our yellow drops in cup number three. And then our last step here is to add five drops of blue dye in cup number five, okay? So that should be easy to remember because it's five drops in cup number five. Um, and also, if you're looking down the row, that's the last cup that has water in it. So remember, be gentle. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. It's actually really quite beautiful, guys. Not sure if you can see how cool this looks when I'm adding the dye into it. I'm just holding the paper up so you can see it a little bit better. So that's what the blue looks like. Now that the red is kind of settling, again, it kind of picks up as orange on the camera, but in here, it actually looks red. And then the yellow is actually um, moving around all of the water as well. So we might just wait a few seconds for that blue cup to spread out in all of the water as well. Okay, so now that we have filled our cups, what we can do is we can put our um, food coloring to the side because we're not going to be using it again. And this will also give us enough time to kind of let the dye kind of um, move around, fill the rest of the cup up so it's not just colored in the middle. can move my other supplies away so they're not in the way of my experiment here. Okay, and then it says 
that we want to take our paper towel, which this is the paper towel that I have, remember, and it's about seven inches long. Um, originally, it says that when you do it, you don't want too much of the paper towel to be up in the air. So I'm wondering if these are a little bit too big, just because I filled the water up pretty, um, pretty a lot in those. Um, so I'm just gonna trim these real quick. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have six of them. But I think I'm gonna trim them so that they are, let me get my ruler out. I think I'm gonna trim them so that they're only five inches long, okay guys? And that's something that you guys can kind of experiment with too, um, seeing how long you want your paper towels to be. Again, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're not using the same paper towels. Some of you might be using really absorbent paper towels. Some of you may not. So I got about two inches off of that and I'm just gonna do the same. Um, so in order to make it a little bit quicker, I'm just gonna lay it up against my other paper towels here. You can see it's short right here. I'm just gonna cut that additional space off and do the same with the remaining towels that I have. So that they should all be the same. Okay. So now they are about five inches and now we can see kind of in, if we were, whoop, we were to put these in the cups, Let's see if they, we have to fold them a little. Yeah, I think that looks kind of right. We'll see. We may have to go back and, you know, it's science, if we're just experimenting, we're testing it out. If it doesn't work, we might just have to go back and make um, our paper towels longer, okay? So I'm gonna put these back in line. And I think what I noticed is I wanna have all my paper all my cups touching so that they're nice and close. And I think I'm gonna pre-fold my paper towels um, just lengthwise so that they're easier to sit on the edge of the cup when they are going, okay? Definitely feel free to pause this at any point, guys, if you need to take a break or if you need to catch up with a step, um, you can always come back to this video. Okay, so what I hear is that sometimes this can go really fast. So I'm gonna see if I can move my camera. Let's see. Let me just angle my camera down. So we can see it a little better there. Okay, I think you can see all the cups. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to start dropping in our paper towels. falling in ah! okay well I think that told us that we need to make our paper towels longer which is okay guys so we have extra paper towels here I'm just gonna make them a little bit longer maybe the seven inches was the best idea originally This is an experiment. We make mistakes. It's okay. 
We have plenty of time to work on these things. All right, I have two. cut out. Now I have four cut out. And I need six. There's five. Here's number six. Okay, I'm gonna try to fold these babies real quick just because I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. I'm gonna fold it lengthwise. And then lengthwise again. There's three. There's four. I didn't take too long. I got the edge on this one. It's a little raggy. All right, I'm gonna go back to my red cup. Hopefully it works this time. Again, I'm going to fold it over. Um, I'm gonna put one half in the red cup and one half in the empty cup. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here to the yellow cup. And the same thing to the yellow to the empty cup. And I have the empty to the blue cup. blue cup to the empty cup. And the empty cup to the red cup. Okay. So now we are just waiting to see. It tells us on our description here, our instructions, um, to stare at the cups, watch and see what starts happening. You should quickly be able to see the colored water begin to crawl up the paper towels. Okay. So I think we can kind of see that happening. You guys see how um, the paper towels, the water is kind of crawling up. I see it over here. I see it on our blue ones. You can definitely see on our yellow ones right here. When the blue ones start acting a little bit more. We'll see it more over here. I see the red on the end as well. Okay. And so we're supposed to give it a little bit of time. And then we're supposed to, I guess, see what happens next. Okay, so this blue one, for example, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has actually, it has actually crawled all the way up to the top. So this part right here is wet. Um, and so we're gonna see, do you think it's just gonna stop right there, guys? Or do we think that it's gonna start crawling down um, into the empty cup? Hmm.
The red one, the yellow one, they're all starting to crawl. And they did say in this um, experiment that it may take a few hours for you to see the end result, but um, we can check in as we go. This may be something that I pause and come back to so you guys can see. Let's see if you can see it a little bit better. You can kind of see how the blue is starting to come up here. Ooh, the blue is starting to come up here too. Okay, I see some yellow coming around the top of this one. What do you guys see at home when you're doing this experiment? So I think having the longer paper towels was key. Um, for this one, I cut them seven inches long. So originally, I thought they were going to be too long, but that actually seems to be... Um, a good length because otherwise they kind of flip up and fall out of the empty cups. The camera is slowly picking up the blue hues on these paper towels here. You can see a little bit how this one without my shadow is turning yellow here. I can't wait for the red to start crawling up though. And this may be a little bit different for you guys at home because you might have more absorbent paper towels, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pause it there guys and I'm gonna check in um, in just a few moments to see where we are at with this experiment and to see if we made any progress, okay? So we will check back in briefly, but I'm gonna pause it for now, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> 